Volvo's S90 is a full-sized executive segment saloon featuring the kind of elegance, craftsmanship and technology we've never previously seen from this Swedish manufacturer. Safe, efficient, clever, practical and stylish, it's another model that re-establishes this Scandinavian maker as a credibly prestigious automotive brand. Volvo limits its mainstream S90 models to a twin-turbo, two-litre, four-cylinder diesel engine that must be mated to an eight-speed Geartronic automatic gearbox. The base D4 variant that we're trying here puts out 190 bhp through its front wheels, or alternatively, you can go for a Power Pulse D5 derivative that boosts this unit's output to 235 bhp and only comes with all-wheel drive. Both options are acceptably frugal, this D4 managing 64.2 miles per gallon on the combined cycle and 116 grams per kilometre of CO2. If you want to do better than that, then you'll need to stretch to the top T8 twin-engine plug-in hybrid flagship model that mates a 320 bhp turbocharged supercharged petrol unit together with an 87 bhp electric motor, and that's powered by a battery pack that's neatly packaged away in the transmission tunnel. When it's fully charged, this variant can offer up to 28 miles of all-electric driving range. On the move, you aren't served up anything that encourages much driving involvement. Blame the rather vague steering for that. But in compensation, there's unruffled poise and exemplary refinement. You get supple standards of ride comfort from the soft suspension too. And there's the option of rear air suspension if you want it. A standard drive mode settings driving dynamic system allows you to tailor the throttle response, the steering feel and the auto gear shift timings to suit the way that you want to drive. And if you do push on a bit, grip and traction are actually quite impressive and cornering body roll decently well controlled. So, what do you think? The design language is apparently taken from contemporary Scandinavian culture and from most angles the resulting shape looks elegant and sophisticated. With its short overhangs, its long wheelbase and its low roofline there's an air of confident assurance here, yet also a look that's uniquely Swedish with a muscular shoulder line that's distinctively Volvo. Let's take a seat up front where it really is very nice indeed. The first thing you'll probably notice is this 9-inch portrait-style touchscreen on the centre console that declutters the cabin of buttons and gives it a classy, sophisticated air, emphasised by intricate detailing and rich Scandinavian design. There's more technology in the instrument binnacle where the normal conventional dials and readouts have been replaced by virtual ones in an active TFT crystal driver's information display. Time to take a seat in the back. Now, given the extra body length that this S90 enjoys over some of its rivals, you'd expect it to feel pretty spacious back here, and by and large, it is. A clever design of front seat back further, freeing up leg and knee room for rear seat folk. Now, we're going to finish by uh, taking a look at the boot. In terms of overall size, 500 litres to be specific, this is one of the smaller trunks in the segment, but it gets close enough to the capacity of the class leaders for that not to matter too much. In this S90, Volvo has a properly credible and very charismatic flagship saloon that will complement the discernment of the relatively few business buyers likely to choose it. Inside, there's properly distinctive luxury rather than merely the kind of upgrade from a smaller, cheaper model that rivals offer. It's all quite unexpected from a car that may well make you rather like the unexpected. Mm -hmm.